Hi everyone, in this video I'm going to be looking at the TRG squeeze indicator. Now the squeeze indicator really is one of our most versatile indicators. It serves a variety of functions which I'll show you all in this video. First and foremost is the squeeze indicator. Now this aims to capture the breakout moves by using the relationship between the Bollinger Bands and the Keltner channels. Now as soon as the Bollinger Bands break outside the Keltner channels, the squeeze indicator gives the train signal. And these are signaled by these white dots here. So what we're looking for is we're looking for the dots to go grey, this dark grey here, so we know the market's no longer trending. And we want the white dots to appear to say the market is trending again now. So that's the, these are the kind of uh, trades we want to take. And the important thing to remember is we want to take the trade in the direction of momentum. So here we've got blue up on momentum, so we want to be looking at buying this. In this one here, another good example, the dots go grey, but this time we get red uh, selling momentum, so we want to be looking at shorting that trade. And also the uh, squeeze indicator serves you uh, another, another very uh, good function by keeping on the right side of the market. So it's showing you where the momentum in the market is. So here we've got uh, blue momentum, so that's above the uh, above the zero line. So we only want to be looking at taking buy trades here. And as you can see, the market goes up, so that would have been the correct decision. And likewise here we've got red uh, momentum below the zero line, so we want to be looking to send this market. And once again, that's where the that's where the big moves were. So we, that was the correct decision to, look to sell this uh, this market. The yeah, TIG squeeze indicator is also very good in telling you when not to trade. So if I pull up this chart here, when these dots are out, it means that the market isn't trending. So these are the kind of trades you want to avoid. So as you can see here, when the market's not trending, price doesn't really go anywhere. And uh, it can chop our accounts a bits, really. But as soon as these white dots come back, again, uh, a good breakout signal there, then that's when the market starts trending again. So that's when I want to look to start taking a trade. Now finally, the, the uh, squeeze indicator has got a brilliant counter trend function. This could be used in a variety of ways. It could be used for entries and exits. So if we have a look to the left of the chart here, we see um, that generally we've got our red and we've got our blue momentum. But here I've got the counter trend function uh, switched on. So if you want to do that, just click on your chart and make sure counter trend is set to true. Now how I use counter trend is I wait for the market to say that the momentum is uh, dying a little bit. So you see here we've got this grey blue there. That signifies that the buying momentum is dying and the sellers are starting to take over. Likewise, we've got this different shade of red. That signals the selling momentum is over and the buyer is starting to take control. So you can use this as an entry. Um, here this is saying that the selling momentum is dying. So you can look to take this as a buy. And you can look to get out when the uh, buying momentum ends here. And you can keep taking these trades uh, all day long, really. This is a brilliant example. So we can take a trade long there and exit at, the, at this, little, um, this little top here. Then we can take it short and then we can exit again when the, uh, the counter and function kicks in again and again you, right up here you can use that and then take that short so you can really take uh, some nice trades on that using the counter and function uh, that's uh, one of my favourite features of the squeeze indicator so that's the squeeze indicator guys um, it really is a lovely um, a lovely indicator to have as you've seen in this video it serves a variety of purposes so it really won't, um, won't let you go wrong with trading